Hey and welcome to the second tutorial of this uh, beginner material series. And on the first one we made the the opaque core, and now we're going to work on the reflection uh, sphere. And uh, you can just barely see it here, but you can tweak it on your own liking, right? This is going to be a rather uh, more simple material compared to the first that we made, but it still has some things for you to learn. Right, so let's just get right into it. Let's just create it, uh, material and reflection, and we enter it. And we wanted this to be uh, additive and also unlit. We do not want it to be two-sided. And the first thing that we want to do is hold T and left click to bring this texture sample. And then we we're going to go over here, left click it and type quad. We're going to use uh, epic texture. This is, this is a cube map. It's going to work perfectly for our reflection. And if you don't see it, you need to go here and view options and show engine content, right? So just click it. And there we go, we're using it. And uh, we need a, a node to, to um, to show that this texture is uh, being reflective, right? So we can just type here reflection vector. Okay. And I don't think we can preview anything so far. Yeah, it's not going to show for now. Um, so let's do the basics, right? First, we want to, to finish this emissive. So we have these. Um, we'll make a particle color, remember, so we can modify it on the on either Niagara Cascade or whatever. And we want to multiply this too. So over here, we can multiply this too. But perhaps it is better to have uh, some kind of variable to modify it on a material instance. So maybe Let's just go over here and hold S. Let's name this extra power. And let's say the default of two, maybe, or, you know, one. And let's just click apply. So next thing that we want to do is just as we did on the, on the first material, we want this texture to to go around our cube, right? So we need a Fresnel. Let's create it. So right click Fresnel. And we need to multiply it again. So over here and over here. Let's see if we can see any results so far. Yeah, you can already see how this is going, right? It is so far very basic. And um, I'm not quite happy with it yet. So we need to do a couple of modifications on this. All right, so um, the kind of complex part starts. Complex if you don't know, uh, if you're completely a beginner, right? Which is the meaning for the tutorial. So let's go over it slowly. The first node is a pixel normal world position. So what this does is that uh, it, uh, out it outputs the data of a vector depending on the direction that the normals are facing in the world. And <laughs> I know that it is a little complex to understand it. So I, I prepared something for here. Yeah, it's just test. So we have this pixel normal set up here on the base color. And you can see this sphere, right? So depending on the direction that the, uh, let's say, okay, the direction of the normals are facing, it's going to ha have a different color. So if we output a texture here as a normal, well, if you output, if we hook a normal here, you can see depending on the direction, or maybe you can see it better here. Yeah. So depending on the direction, is the color that the 
that the texture has, right? All thanks to this node here. So, uh, um, can I explain something over here? No, I, I think it's pretty. Uh, so again, uh, depending on the direction of the normal is where the, is what the colors are going to be, right? All thanks to this, this node here. So if we go back to our reflection, for our material, I want, um, I don't want the whole material to be uh, visible, let's say. Maybe I just want the top part to show, or um, yeah, maybe we just want the top part. So what we can do about that is we can, Multi, uh, we can have a dot product between this and a normal tree vector. So we hold tree and left click and we bring one of these. And this is going to represent all of the directions, right? Red, green, and blue represent X, Y, and C. So let's just put one on, on the C. So maybe we just want a fade from top to bottom. And we're going to be able to test this over here, so don't worry. So we want a dot product between these two because these two are vectors, right? Oh, that, 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 that's the right. So dot product. All right, if we hook these two up, maybe if we preview it, you can see it, right? That uh, depending on the direction that we put here, is what, what happens here. So if we put the zero here, but one here, you can see it changing. So we want our gradient to be exactly on the V from here to here. But um, this line is way too way too uh, thick. The, the This gradient is, is not soft at all, right? So, um, Let's try hooking it up and see if we can preview it like this. Right, so you can see only this top half, right? I, I don't think you can see my mouse, but you can only see the top half of the sphere. And perhaps you want that, right? But for the example, we don't really want this big of a, of a difference. And this is happening because the dot product, what it's doing is, Mm, it doesn't explain it here, but it's taking values between 0.1 and 1, right? And we do not want that minus point. Uh, I'm sorry. Again, it takes values between minus 1 and 1, right? Here is everything I said. It, it's the last thing. Minus 1 and 1. So we don't really want that minus 1, right? Uh, because it's creating this big difference. So what we want to do, uh, or, or drag here is this, constant, oh, come no, constant bias. So what this node does is that it normalizes everything from zero to plus, right? It is a Yeah. So this one, it, it's going to reset it to zero. And if we hook it over here, let's see. Now you can see the fade on bottom, right? And we can obviously tweak this and maybe make it more prominent, but it is up to you at the end, right? It is completely up to you. So we can see that it is working. Uh, I think these three are well explained. Uh, if it is, If it's not, Please let me know. Um, maybe you understand it quickly, but uh, me and me on my case, it, it, it took me long. Maybe I'm, I'm a slow learner. I don't know, but it didn't work for me. So let me know. And we need to multiply this, right? So we go over here. We multiply these two. We can stop previewing this. We multiply these two and we forgot two things here. So first we need to hook this particle color. Right, so since we are here, we are doing the opacity here and it is ending up over here. Let's just do another multiply here with this. 
sorry. Mm. See, like this? Yeah, if you double left click the line, you can just customize this, right? So it, it looks a little bit more ordered, so it's not annoying to look at. Yeah, it is, at the end, up to you. So this is, let me see. Mm. Oh, of course. We need a uh, depth, depth fade for the opacity. And this is, this is looking fine. Perhaps we can add a little bit more power here. Yeah, this is nice. If you want to put another cube map, you can do it for sure. But I think we covered everything here. We covered everything. So again, this is a really quick, really fast uh, reflection material. On the next lesson, what we're going to do is, well, we have two options. And I'm not sure yet. We either uh, just do the wispy material, um, this one, you know, the, the material going around here on the core. Uh, or we do uh, the meshes, although the meshes should be fast, we'll probably do them both. So yeah, uh, on the next one we do the meshes, because although they're fairly easy, if you're new, you don't really know why things are the way they are, right? So I have one mesh that it is just a normal sphere, and the other one is uh, it's the same sphere, but with flip normals. and. Um, I'll explain to you exactly why that is. In case you can see, in case you can see my cursor, I'm just talking about uh, the right side on the static mesh, so you can see exactly why that is. Uh, so yeah, we do the material for the for the flowy wispy, and we do the meshes. I hope that you learned. If there is something that is not clear, please let me know, and we can go through it. I think I said that like five times. So have a, have a great one and I'll see you in the next one.